Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to enroll Ubuntu device in Microsoft Intune. Now, it is possible to enroll a personal Linux device in Microsoft Intune to get secure access to work or school resources in Microsoft Edge. Once the devices are enrolled, they receive the policies we create in Intune. At this moment, enrollment is supported only for devices with Ubuntu Desktop 22.04 or 20.04 LTS. It is recommended to enable encryption when you first install Ubuntu Desktop on your device. In the last video, we have installed this Ubuntu 22.04 with full disk encryption with LVM in VirtualBox. We have to install Microsoft Edge web browser and Microsoft Intune app on our device prior to enrollment. First, let's check the Ubuntu system is up to date. Open terminal, type command sudo apt update and press enter key. Tap user password and press enter key. Okay, now type command sudo apt upgrade. Let's press enter key. As we can see, our system is up to date. Now we can proceed to Microsoft Edge and Intune app installation. Open Firefox web browser. Type URL microsoft.com slash edge. Let's press enter key. Click on download edge. Click on accept and download. The Microsoft Edge Debian package downloading will start automatically. The package is downloaded successfully. Let me close the web browser. Open Files, double click on Downloads. We have to install this Microsoft Edge package. On the downloaded package, right click and choose Open with other application. Select Software Install and click on Select. Wait for few seconds. Click on Install to start the installation process. Enter user password for confirmation. Click on Authenticate. The installation process will take some time to complete. Microsoft Edge is installed successfully on our device. Let me close this. Let me close files. To verify it, click on Show Applications. And here, we can see the icon of Microsoft Edge web browser. Next, we will install Microsoft Intune app. For that, we have to use command line interface to manually install the Intune app and its dependencies on our device. Go back to terminal. The installation of the Microsoft Intune app starts with the installation of curl also known as CURL. That is a command line tool for downloading or transferring data which is needed to download the Microsoft key information. I have already copied those commands in this text document. So we just need to copy paste these commands into terminal. To install CURL or curl, we need to run this command. So let me copy the command and let's paste in terminal. Let's press enter key. Type Y and press enter key to start the installation process. Once the curl is installed on our Linux device, the Microsoft package signing key can be downloaded and installed. There are four commands for that. I have copied those commands to the text file. So now we just need to copy paste these four commands. Let me copy the first command and let's paste in terminal. Let's press enter key. 
Now let's copy the second command. Let's paste here and let's again press enter key. Okay, let's move to the third command. Let me paste here and again press enter key. Now we need to run the last command. Let's copy it. Let's paste here and again press enter key. Perfect. We have successfully downloaded and installed Microsoft package signing key on our Ubuntu device. Once the Microsoft package signing key is installed on our Linux device, the Microsoft Intune app can be installed. But before that, we need to run command sudo apt update. Let's press enter key. Okay, let me clear the screen. Now, to install Microsoft Intune app on our Ubuntu 22.04, we need to run command sudo apt install intune-portal. So this is the command which we need to run on our Ubuntu system to install Microsoft Intune app. Now let's press enter key. Type Y and press enter key to continue with the installation. The installation process will take few seconds to complete. Installation has been completed successfully. Once the Microsoft Intune app is installed, we need to reboot the Ubuntu VM to finalize the installation. So let me close terminal. Let's close this text document. And now I'm going to reboot this Ubuntu virtual machine. Let's click on restart. Let's enter security key to unlock our Ubuntu device. Let's click on our username and let's enter our user password. So after reboot, we have logged in again to our Ubuntu VM. Once the Microsoft Edge and Microsoft Intune app are successfully installed on our Ubuntu device, the actual enrollment process can be started. The enrollment process is pretty straightforward. Click on Show Applications. We need to open Microsoft Intune app. So click on Microsoft Intune. On the Intune agent page, click on Sign in and sign in with a work or school account. Here, enter your user's credentials and complete the sign in process. In our case, the username is user1 at msf surat v3 dot on microsoft dot com. After entering the username, click on next. We need to enter user account password. Click on sign in. Click on register to begin enrollment process. On the setup access page, Click begin to start the registration process. So let's click on begin. On the what can my organization see or do when I enroll my device page, review the information and click on begin to start the registration of this Ubuntu device. Let me click on begin. As you can see, currently it is registering our device to Microsoft Intune. The registration process has been started. This will take few seconds to complete. The Ubuntu is successfully enrolled in Microsoft Intune. Now it is checking the device compliant status. Once completed, the app will show the compliant status of our device in Intune app. We can see our device has been enrolled and is compliant. Let me maximize it. This is the name of our device and the status is compliant. We also want to confirm enrollment from the Intune portal. So let's go to Intune portal. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune Service Administrator. We can access 
Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. At this moment, as we can see, we have only one device enrolled in Microsoft Intune. Let me click on refresh. Still one device is there. So I think we need to wait a little longer. And after that, the information of our Ubuntu device will be available in Microsoft Intune Admin Center. Let me refresh the entire web page. We can see the Android Ubuntu device named Lab Ubuntu in the list of Android devices in Microsoft Intune Admin Center. This device is managed by Microsoft Intune with corporate ownership. Check the OS version. It is 2204 in our case. Under by platform, click on Linux. Here we can see our device Lab Ubuntu listed under Linux devices which are enrolled in our Microsoft Intune. From here, we can also create and configure compliance policy for our Linux devices. In the next video, we will see the steps to create a compliance policy for Linux devices in Microsoft Intune. That's all for this video on how to enroll Ubuntu device in Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.